someone on Reddit said that the Yankees are going to sign Verlander for two years, 40 mil. And I like that more than one year, 10. Okay. So that's, you because, needed, you needed the. Cause if they the sign safety. Verlander for two years, 40 mil, there's not a limit for the next two years. They're just going to fucking spend. Right. Because they need a shortstop center fielder, maybe first baseman. They don't need Verlander. So if that's the situation and they keep him within this window before they have to reset the tax again, and they just do balls out two year deals and spend a ton. That kind of changes my mind on the whole free agency period where I'm like, all right, do it, blow the tax up. Let's. And then now you got Rosenthal saying they're going to do like, Oh, nine Yankee spending like Sabathia to share a um, Burnett Swisher. And I'm like, Okay, if uh, just let me know the plan. If yeah. we only have 80 million to spend in the next two years, don't give 40 of it to Verlander like we did last year with Kluber. Don't give 50% of the allotment to an old injured player returning and we don't know what he's going to be on a one year deal, please. But if, and signs are kind of pointing this, if there's no limit for the next two years, they're going to get under again. That's the nature of it. And they signed Verlander, who's, admittedly not a priority they said he, oh, and cashman's honest he said priority short shortstop in center field and if they give verlander that much money for a two-year deal well to me that means they're just going to spend like crazy the next two, two seasons and i would love to get back into the mindset of not caring how much they spend and being like yep pick them up who cares Tremendous. if they go verlander and correa i will feel weird about it okay I will feel grimy a little bit I, I it will I don't fully care like blah 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 like never bit. never I don't see I don't picture Verlander as an Astro but if you got Cole Verlander Correa Come on that feels weird just like that feels and I'm not going to let this feeling get in the way of cheering for them and and if they help the Yankees win enjoying it and all that but like you know they ever do a fucking promo like eh, with those three guys on it, it's a bit odd. Right. Just buying the Astros team that, that beat you. It's, uh, you know, a little bit of that A-Rod effect of when that originally happened. I don't love the idea of Correa, but I do love the idea of his abilities being added to the team. My test is if someone, if they do a move, like a big move before a shortstop, then we should all expect a lot of moves. Because shortstop, 100% they could has to happen. They cannot start next season if they don't sign or trade for a shortstop of high caliber. Yep. Pitching, they could roll the dice. Center field, they could roll the dice. You know, wouldn't like it, but they could. Um, first base, they could roll the dice. Again, we're not going to love it, but they could. Catcher, we think they're going to roll the dice. If, if shortstop, 100% has to happen. So, if shortstop's the first move, then you kind of you stiffen up and you go, oh, I hope there's more. Right. Stuff happens before shortstop. I might start licking my lips and be like, all right, let's, let's bring it. 